In Victorian Britain, there was a craze for collecting ferns. This was known as pteridomania. People would collect their ferns for their rarity, or their, for being unusual, for being spectacular. It was also possible to grow ferns indoors in gla small glass conservatories known as terraria. Specialised albums could be purchased for keeping the pressed ferns in. Other that were kept on individual sheets. One of the characteristics of all ferns is that the way they unfurl, it looks like a shepherd's crook. It's known as a circinate frond, a frond being the name for a leaf in the world of ferns. Ferns don't have seeds, instead they have spores. And these spores are usually collected in arrangements beneath the actual leaves known as fronds. However, in some species, it's almost like they have a flower where the frond that carries the spores doesn't have any photosynthetic function at all and is specialised entirely for releasing the spores. This gives it a very different look from the normal frond structure. In the days of the British Empire, there were British people spread throughout the world. This album here alone had over 20 countries that are clearly recorded where the collector was corresponding with other collectors and they were exchanging specimens. Some collectors might go for the spectacular or for the rare and unusual. We even get hybrids where two species of interbred to give intermediate characteristics. There are also species where there are varieties. These are called sports. So it would be the same species, but would look sometimes quite dramatically different. The great thing about pressing plants is once they're properly pressed and dried, as long as they, they're kept dry, they will last almost forever. The specimens in this book here are at least 160 years old. Collectors would go to great risks to collect their specimens. There are examples of people being very badly injured or even killed whilst out hunting ferns. The vast number of ferns collected had a great effect on the distribution with their local rarities becoming extinct or some species becoming extinct altogether. Even the types that were varieties, that is the sports, even they became very rare. Ferns in the wild have still not recovered their distribution from the effects of the depredations carried out by Victorian collectors. Victorian collectors often gave species names to what were actually varieties of ferns. Also, taxonomic studies have shown some ferns to belong in other families than they originally placed. This has meant a great deal of change in the, in the naming of ferns not just the common names, but also the binomial, that is the genus and species.